been having so much fun traveling more often and I will continue to actually travel more often throughout this year um, but also vlogging it and taking you guys along with me and I just I love it and I love that you guys are enjoying it as well but yeah with me traveling so much and being up and down the place I have really nailed down some serious travel essentials that I'm really excited to share with you guys today oh! one thing about me I need to be organized when I travel Okay, I just have to be. You know, traveling is like in itself, it's pretty stressful. And I feel like that's the one thing that I can control. Like my stuff is going to be folded. They're going to be organized. Everything's going to be packed in their little sections. That is me and I'm going to share my travel essentials. So we're going to get into how I pack my cosmetics, how I pack my jewelry, even like this handy downy luggage weight to make sure you never overweight. We're also going to be talking about my specific luggage, my ride or die luggage that is 12 out of 10 like oh I am gonna share the tea with you so let's just go ahead and get into it okay y'all so before we actually dive in to my travel essentials <laughs> speaking of travel y'all do you want to travel with me or not and I'm being I'm being so serious right now y'all so me and my girl Casey have partnered with Trova trip to plan a trip for us yes I'm talking about me and Casey and you Okay, uh, so we are going to Bali in September and it's going to be the 9th to the 15th. If you are free, if you're available, and you got the moolah, come through because it's about to be so absolutely amazing. One of the things I really love about this trip is that it's already pre-planned. So it's a seven day trip and literally if you go on the website, it will of course be linked below. Day one, day two, everything is already planned out. List of activities include things like going to a waterfall, going to the sacred monkey forest. We're gonna be going on a street food tour. Like we're gonna be doing all the things, relaxing on the beach. It's gonna be amazing. And like even though like it's kind of like planned out already, we are also, Casey and I, working with Trova Trip to plan a specific event for like all of us that's just gonna be really nice like it's just gonna be good vibes having fun and it's just going to be quality time with Casey and I in Bali Bali baby oh, I can't even tell you how excited I am so period that's it go ahead sign up and now I'm gonna tell you what travel essentials you're gonna need for the Bali trip so everything that I do mention here is all tagged in my Amazon storefront I already know the link will be below so whenever you're ready to shop my travel phase it'll be right there so let's first start off with what I do with my cosmetics these little silicone travel size bottles are so good they're silicone so they're like super squeezy which means it's easy to get the product in and also out like when you're actually using the products I've used these on multiple trips now and they're also leak proof so you don't have to worry about anything spilling and then this is what's game changer okay look at how big the opening is for you to put product in there they're also pretty lightweight so we'll help you kind of save on space and like weight in your bag so these are what I will use for products where I can't get a travel size I actually do like for my specific like everyday cosmetics that I use I do like to go out and buy travel size wherever possible when it comes to like my makeup like I do my cellar water I always have a jumbo size of that um, hair products you can't really most times you can't really buy like a travel size of your hair products so for like those everyday products that you're absolutely gonna need on your trip that you can't get a travel size of this is going to change your life and I'm obsessed. Also very important to me when I travel cosmetics bags. Okay, I did get this specific one in PR. Look at how big it is, okay? And then I also have a roll up makeup bag for my makeup, okay? When I say that I am organized, I'm organized. So makeup and everything, this is just full of makeup, I'll do like um, primers and complexion products, then like bronzers and concealer, then I'll do blush and eye stuff, and then brushes at the bottom. I mean, it's organized and it rolls out like this. It has like a little hanger thingy so you can hang it up on the door of the bathroom or in one of the hooks in the bathroom. It's just, it's just so good. So this is where I put my makeup and then this big cosmetics bag is usually where I try to fit everything else. So like skincare, body care, and then mini versions of hair care as well. I just like making sure everything has its own specific place because when I'm looking for things, I know, okay, skincare is gonna be in here. Okay, I need my foundation, it's gonna be in the makeup bag. You know what I mean? By having everything in its designated place, it just makes life so much easier. So these two specific uh, bags that I just showed you, um, this one I got in PR and that makeup bag is from Mary Kay. <laughs> I've had that for 
years for almost as long as I can remember but I have gone on and found some similar items and linked it for you in my storefront so that is how I store like cosmetics and makeup and when it comes to doing beauty on the go you're on your trip you want to look a little cute y'all need to get a portable lighted mirror I got this in PR found it on Amazon so I've linked this exact one it's by a brand called fancy they have a ton of different mirrors smaller bigger and they're all lighted and perfect for travel so if you are into beauty you like to do your makeup on the go like this is amazing you just like tap the middle and then the light will turn on so you can do this one which is like more white light you can do more yellow light if you want like more warm vibes and then you can do one that's kind of like a hybrid in between but it's so good I love this mirror it also doesn't come with like that mini it did also I don't know what I did with it, but it also came with like a uh, magnetic, uh, you know, the magnifying mirrors. It came with a circular one on top. So if you needed to like pluck your eyebrows and stuff and really see, it's really, really good. I obviously lost it. <laughs> but yes, 12 out of 10 recommend because not all hotels and Airbnbs, wherever you're going to stay, has really good lighting. And if you want to make sure you're still looking on points, this is going to be it for you ma'am. Talking about cosmetics, I had to of course bring up a couple of products themselves. Number one being SPF y'all. We're in the summer right now and I just feel like I needed to mention. Do not sleep on your SPF. I don't care if you want to get a tan. You can get a tan but still be protected from the sun. Okay, so do not go anywhere without your SPF. My favorite, all-time favorite SPF brand at the moment is Super Goop. Their stuff is reef safe and they have so many different sunscreens to choose from. You want a matte finish, you want a glowy finish, you want a regular everyday finish. They have got you all the way covered. So two of my favorites here are these. So this is the Glow Screen Body, it's SPF 40. You guys saw me use this in my vlog when we went ATVing and everything. It's really good, it's water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes and again, and it's reef safe all of their sunscreens are reef safe um, I also absolutely love this glow oil it has more sun protection than this glow screen body so this is 50 SPF it's water resistant for 80 minutes and it is oh it makes it gives you that beautiful beach glow that everybody wants so if you're gonna take pictures you can put this on look good but also be protected by the Sun you're welcome okay I could not talk about travel essentials without throwing in SPF I also don't travel any anywhere without the sanitizer pack. You can buy a pack of these mini packs here and then stick them in every single bag when you're traveling so that you never caught slipping. Moving right along to jewelry, first and foremost, we gotta talk about these rubber rings, y'all. Ever since getting engaged, I like for everybody to know about it, okay? I don't walk around with a bare ring finger anymore, okay? There's always gotta be a ring on, but I'm a little adventurous, I would say, and I like to go out and about and do things. But it's not always appropriate for me to be wearing this beautiful, fancy engagement ring when I'm doing my adventure time. <laughs> So I love these rubber rings. They're literally just like a silicone ring. And then like if I'm going on a boat, going to the beach, going ATVing, like if there's a chance that my ring could either A, get lost or B, get dirty or broken, I ain't wearing it. So then I just put this on and she's still engaged clearly, but without the risk of messing up my real engagement ring. So I love these, they really come in handy. I actually wear them daily, like home as well. Like this is not just a travel essential for me because I wear them to the gym and everything as well. Um, so 12 out of 10 recommend for my fiancés or my married babes need. Now for the rest of my jewelry that I actually like to pack, you guys know I like to usually like layer necklaces and I also have six piercings between my two ears. So I like to make sure that I have my earrings and my necklaces and everything with me. Um, when it comes to packing them, I will say what I have been doing is using these little mini ratchet Ziploc bags. Not the best case scenario, especially not for like necklaces like these because they will just get tangled in each other and it's not a good situation so i actually found a jewelry case like a little mini travel size jewelry case online and i'm about to place an order for it i did want to mention it to you guys because i'm like yep this is about to be essential for me for sure if you guys have any other additional travel essentials when it comes to jewelry specifically please let me know actually comment below send me links to things i am curious i'm always open to improving my travel game okay moving on to electronics now when 
for me as a content creator, but I feel like for people in general, you just need your phone when you're traveling. If you're using it for GPS, if you're trying to stay in touch with people, whatever it may be, you need your phone when you're traveling and you can't have that die on you. It's like a, a terrible situation for that to happen. So what I always have on deck, which is like a creator must have, right, is a portable battery charger. I went online though and Apple has these ones that will like stick onto the back of your phone and just start charging it right away because of the MagSafe. Amazing. So that's the one that I have linked. It's already in my Amazon card and also now linked in my storefront because I just think that is so boss. Also very necessary, a tripod, okay? Do not underestimate the use of a tripod while you travel, okay? I know that it's not just creators that like to create content or get memories and stuff whenever we're on vacation. Everybody likes to do that, right? This tripod is so good. So first of all, I love the legs. I've gone through quite a number of tripods, okay? So I feel like my opinion here is a pretty valid one. So first of all, I love these legs. They're super sturdy. They're not floppy like some other tripods I've had. They're very sturdy. It will stay up bombs.com but another thing I love about this tripod is it can extendo a little bit I love it I actually use this sometimes when I'm like filming um, my IG reels and stuff in here in my studio um, but even more so on vacation I have used this for my vlog cameras to walk around talking to you guys um, I have set up my phone on this tripod and taken like self timer photos with George just having a tripod is so important and I just love the fact that it's like an extendo type thing because like it's almost like a selfie stick kind of situation. Love it. Yeah, absolutely love this. I also have another tripod that is not as travel friendly. Um, it's a full size tripod but if you wanted to like have a tripod there so that you could get like a really nice full body photo or video or whatever it may be, you could potentially benefit I know this is probably more along the lines for content creators because I definitely travel with both um, but if you want to have more opportunity for different types of content because this can only go so tall if you don't have a desk to like prop this up on this is where this will come in handy because it goes really tall and you can get full body content all the good stuff the good thing about tripods even though this is like a full-size one not necessarily made for travel um, you can always kind of just close it down and make it like as little and concise as possible and just kind of stick this in your suitcase. So if you're huge on creating content, I definitely suggest at least one tripod, if not two. But I definitely personally travel with both, just so I'm covered. <laughs> the last thing on my electronics list is actually a life-proof case for my phone. I used to have one a long time ago. Obviously, I've upgraded my phone quite a few times since then. So also already in my car, a new life-proof case for my current phone. There are so many ways a life-proof case can come in handy especially if you are more of an adventurous type like me if you are going out and doing things and you still want to get like content in the water I know our phones are like water resistant but if you don't want to chance that which I get really nervy about that kind of thing I'm still not used to the whole water resistant for an adventurous vacation specifically a life proof case is gonna be very very necessary all right, so last but not least, I think I'm extremely, extremely excited and passionate about this category because I've gone through quite a bit of luggage. Kipling luggage is the best luggage, and I'm gonna stand by it. It's worth the money. I know they're a little bit more pricey, but they are absolutely worth it because it will last you for years to come. It's like you're investing in like two to three hundred dollar luggage that will last you way longer than maybe like a cheap 50 to $100 luggage that you're gonna have to probably replace like next year. You know what I mean? Like I have had, how, how long have I had these for? At least five to six years. And I've had zero problems. There are no broken zippers and it's me all. I travel international, not just like quick domestic trips here in the US. I do international travel frequently. And my, these bags have been to the UK, they've been to Europe, they've been all over the place and I absolutely love them. So 12 out of 10 recommend. The material is so, so nice. There's not one bad thing that I could say about it. It's got like the 360 degree spinner wheels. It is perfect. So love my Kipling. I have one, I have this one here in black. 
Then I also have a really nice one in purple as well. I kind of like the purple because then I just look out for a purple bag when I'm picking up my luggage. And then another thing that I love to have with my luggage are luggage tags. I, my mom, bless her, she's so old school, but she still goes up to the counter and asks the airline for their like little uh, luggage thingy, luggage tag, and then she writes down her name and information and then we'll tag it. I'm like, mom, you can just get one tag and put it on there, leave it on there, it's your tag, and you don't have to rewrite it every single time you travel, it's so funny. But I love luggage tags, not only because my information is there, if it gets lost or stolen, like, you know, it's mine, but also, I like to get colorful ones so it can help me identify my bag. So like on my purple bag, I have a pink tag, and then on this black one, I have a red tag, so it's just like, boom. Like, yes, there are many black bags, but mine is with that specific red bright tag that will make it easier to identify, you know? So luggage tags are actually huge for me. I love them. The other piece of luggage that I've been super impressed by and just so thankful for every single time I travel is a more recent purchase. I did get it around Black Friday last year, so I got it on sale. It's a Samsonite mini carry-on bag and I love it. 360 degree spinner wheel, so obviously it makes it a breeze to carry. But what I really love is all the different compartments it has in it. It makes it like it just holds so much like my little trick is I will put smaller but like heavier items in there so like denim um, maybe even sometimes like some heels I'll stick them in there it has like a separate compartment where I can still put my laptop and everything it even has like a little charging thing you can charge your phone or whatever you need to charge on the go it's such a good bag and worth every single penny it has saved me so many times from having to pay overweight fees because you can just throw stuff in there and it is amazing also like the black and gold that is so cute I y'all know how much I love gold okay I'm not a silver girl and the black and gold just does it for me so if y'all are in the market for upgrading your luggage it's just about that time 12 out of 10 recommend I got you speaking of luggage one of the most frustrating and like stressful parts I feel like at least for me for traveling is making sure that your bag is not overweight this gadget right here has saved me so many times so many times y'all saw me use it in my travel vlog so good you just pack your bag fully and then loop this into the like handle put it up and it tells you what the weight is right here i personally cannot deal with the stress of getting to the counter and them saying nope your bag is overweight like i would almost rather pay an overweight fee which is really hard to say because those overweight fees are so freaking ridiculous ridiculous but I would almost rather do that than to have to like go to the side and open my bag in front of people and then take stuff out and then be stressed out and flustered and I cannot deal with that stress. I cannot. So this little handy gadget has been amazing. I haven't paid overweight fees in a very, very long time because I packed smart now. I don't know where we got this exact one but of course I have tagged, they have tons on Amazon so I've tagged some similar ones that look the exact same let me tell you it is pretty pretty accurate okay i have not it hasn't lied to me yet so we are down to our last two items that i want to mention my last two travel essentials when i'm saying essential i mean essential can't go anywhere without it i can't travel any other way right and this is gonna sound so simple but a passport pouch this thing right here is everything especially nowadays you got to travel with your documentation your vaccination card whatever you're like for Cayman, we need a travel declaration so you got to travel with that like your negative covid test you got to travel with so many things so to have this all like kind of bunched up together and then like spaced out in your handbag and you're like stressed out trying to no so I just slip everything in my little passport pouch and it all holds right here nice and neatly and I love it. I specifically love this passport. I want to say this pouch is one that I got from like Urban Outfitters just randomly. I saw it. I really like this one because you can slide everything in and out. I tried to find one like this on Amazon. I didn't. But of course I have tagged others that are similar. This is still a passport pouch, just not like this one. Um, but yeah, for reference, I think I may have purchased this. Uh, you know, like the checkout area, they just have random stuff. I do believe it was... Urban Outfitters, like so random. Who goes to Urban Outfitters for a passport pouch? But I think that's where I got this. So yeah, love this. Number one thing about all these travel essentials, I noticed that they are just minimizing stress. And that is huge. So the last item is a little update that I wanna make to my travel pouch to make it even more organized. Um, so y'all <laughs> y'all see I got this little thing um, wrapped in here. I have 
me show you. I have a, oh! Don't drop, don't don't get lost. See, this is, this is a problem. So yeah, wrapped in here, I have a SIM card and then the pokey thing for your phone to get your SIM card out. Um, the reason why I have it wrapped in here is because these items are so tiny, they're so easy to lose, especially when you're traveling, you've got stuff all over everywhere. So I have it wrapped up nice and bulky and then stuck in my passport pouch. But y'all, do you know what they have on Amazon? They have a cute little, like they have like pre-made things where you can put memory cards, SIM cards, and the little pokey thing for your SIM card for when you're traveling. So guess what? It's in my cart already and tagged on my Amazon storefront because I think that's amazing. The reason why I have to have um, a SIM card is whenever I go home, I just use a Caymanian SIM card. I top it up whenever I need to. So that way I don't have any lapse in coverage or anything like that. I could roam, I could roam, and then I don't have to worry about having the SIM card and stuff. But sometimes it just works out cheaper if I just use a Cayman SIM card and top up while I'm home. But yeah, I'm really excited to kind of replace this for that. It's just gonna look so cute so organized and I can feel confident that I won't lose them. So yeah, those are all the travel essentials that y'all are gonna need on your trip with me to Bali, okay? Hope you didn't forget. If you made it to the end of this video, that means you are a real one. And the fact that you're a real one means that you need to be in Bali with us this September 2022. Sign up before it's too late, please, 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 you will regret it, I swear. You're gonna see the content, that's the thing. You're gonna see the content, you're gonna see the vlogs, you're gonna see the reels. So if you can make it work, find a way to make it work and I promise you it's going to be ah. Amazing. Okay, so that's basically gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm all excited talking about travel stuff. I'm actually getting ready to travel again in like three days. I'm gonna be back and forth in between Atlanta and Cayman for a little bit. There's just a lot going on. We've got baby showers. I've got my three year anniversary with George and they're like three weeks apart. So it's like, I'm gonna be there, back, there, back. It's gonna be a whole thing. Hey okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Go ahead and sign up for Bali. Don't forget, bye. Ha, ha, ha.